All right, let's get into scripting. So the first thing we need to do is build an object. You already know how to do that. We have our build dialog box open. Last thing I did was in edit mode. So the edit mode option is selected. So I select the magic wand, you know, the magic that's going to happen. And I'm going to build an object. This time I'll build a cone and I click on the ground. There's my cone. Now we're going to do our basic hello world script. So I don't want the generic object to say hello. You can see I've been testing over here. So I'm going to create this object that says raw says right here. Always test, always test. So raw says, and then my object is here. I've got it selected. There are features where you we're not going in there. Texture, if you want to add a texture to your object, you're more than welcome. Content area, important part here. We're going to add a new script and that script is going to be the default script. Remember the default script I showed you in Canvas? Well, we're going to create a new script. This is where it's going to come. Raw says, hello avatar. So my object, which is titled raw says, says hello avatar. Now I, because let me go back because we're in this virtual environment and you're going to pass this object to me. There are certain things I need and I need to be able to read, write, check all that good stuff. So we're going to right click on this new script go into properties and it opens up your inventory. You want to make sure under next owner that all of these little things are checked. Modify, copy, transfer. They must be checked. Rename your script to hello world. However you want to write it, you can use space, lowercase, whatever it is you want to write. The most important is the three components are checked. Not only those, you can close this dialog, you can close your inventory dialog. Not only those three components, but go back to your general tab and make sure in the next owner that modify, copy, and transfer are selected so I can grade the work. All right, so we're going to go back to our content area, which has our script. Double click on that. Here's our basic, basic script that comes on the default. Remember, default is the state in which Second Life has to have everything. Everything has to have the default state. You have your open curly bracket and you have your, your event, curly bracket, function. Close that function. New event, curly bracket, function, close that function, close the state and close the code, right? That's it. So let's open up one of those generators and we're going to take the most basic, basic one, which is the script me. Script me can only do one thing. It can do one thing. All these things right here. That's all it can do. So if you click a radio, you can only click one. That's all it can do is one. So we want it to say something and we want it to say hello world. And we might as well leave it as the default when the script starts, right? So let's make the script. The script is made. There it is. The default state curly bracket event and the function and it closes. Very simple. So let's just take everything here. So you have to copy it, control C or right click copy. Go back to Second Life in your IDE. What is your IDE? Come on, say it with me. Integrated Development Environment. So this particular component is the Second Life IDE. Unity had the Mono Develop IDE. So within the IDE here, we're going to select everything, paste the new script, 
save the new script and guess what it's gonna say object raw says hello world everything worked you're right in the chat area there it's all fine and hunky-dory let's go back to that specific component and maybe create another script and we are going to use the back arrow and instead of when the script starts let's try when an avatar is nearby and the avatar is within one meter of the object and we only want this to say once because if we didn't do this only one time for each avatar if you didn't select this the object would continually say hello world hello world hello world anytime an avatar was near there so i'm going to make my script and you can see it's a little bit longer now it's got a whole bunch of stuff going it's uh because we only want it to happen once it's given us the list of the recent avatars. It's going to find the avatar here, this avatar when then they're in one meter, and it's going to speak out loud and it's going to say hello world, right? Well, we hope it's going to say hello world. Maybe that's where that should be right there. Let's go back and just make sure we have that say something say something see in those little quotation marks that's what threw it for me because i was looking at the script and nothing was within the quotation marks one avatar it was is within one meter say it once make the script and this is where i was looking right here there was nothing within those quotation marks so i could really put anything within those quotation marks so i'm gonna highlight everything in here and i'm gonna copy go back into second life highlight everything paste it in there save and it should one more time say hello world when this avatar is within one meter so it comes within one meter it states it and it will not state it ever again because i've said only do this once right okay oh there it goes i was within the area all right let's um let's let's delete this this particular build delete it we're going to go in edit mode make sure it is selected and not anything else make sure it is selected and you're in edit mode and select delete close your script out one more time let's build an object i'm using my alt key and my mouse to come around and i'm going to go back to the general tab here and i'm going to click a sphere and add the sphere i'm going to name this object i'm going to name it raw's object right and i'm going to make sure that the next owner can modify copy and transfer i'm going to come over to the content area make that default script and you can see it just happened raw's object said hello avatar that's the default script right click open up the component name this one hello world make sure the next owner can do all those good things close the inventory dialog box open up the script there it is the default script now i'm going to go back and open up the con wiley script generator and con wiley script it has its issues as well you know it really does so one thing i'm going to show you right now if you go back here to the sensor take note of this line right here in con wiley's he still has the old style with the um, meters and quotations and you'll get an error i'm telling you right now you'll get an error in fact we're going to try it so one you want to say 
Any, anyone within 25 meters can hear that. Do you want to shout? Anyone within 100 meters? Or do you want to whisper? Anyone within 5 meters can hear it. So we're going to say, hello world. Right? So once again, you can see state entry look just like the other one. There's those quotation marks. But what's really cool about Con Wiley's script generator is you can add some other things to it. So um, I am going to say hello world. Then I am going to change the color of the object. Change color of object, true or false? Well, yes, I want to change the color of the object. So I'm going to make that true, right? right all right you got it so you can see what's happened here it's called ll which is linden language linden language sac color and it gives the color coordinates it's going to set it to all sides so what else do i want to do with this object you know what i think i want to move the object right so i'm going to move the object and before i even add anything i'm changing this theme because the white background's a little harsh for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a darkness one. I kind of like the dark background with the color writing, so that shows me my errors. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna move it 0.3 meters up. All right. So and yeah, that looks good. It's telling me set position. L get position. X, Y, and Z, and remember I said Z was up. If this was a negative, it would go down, so it's a positive, so it's going to go up right here, this point three. X, Y, and Z are your components right here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say in step two, step two, when do you want this to happen? And I want it to happen when an avatar is nearby. And see what I told you right here? That's the old style. Old style has the quotation marks in there. I'm going to change it to one meter, right? And so everything should be looking good. I'm going to select the script, right click copy, go back into Second Life and paste that script and change this right here remember i told you that's the old style change it everything's looking all right state entry i'm gonna save 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 save, save. and now i am going to well i'll just minimize the script but i'm gonna walk over here next to this little sphere and I think I'm close enough and we'll see. Oh, there it did. It just changed. It actually changed and moved 0.3 up and it's going to continue to do this until the avatar is no longer within one meter of the sphere. It's reading it, going through it, going through it once, reads the script again, going through it, reads the script again, going through it. So as I stated, it'll continue to do it till the avatar is no longer one meter near the object. So that's it right there. And that my friends is scripting very quick. I want to show you the script. Oops, I already had it right here. The script, remember, default state, event, function, event, function, function, function close close events close script so when you comment this you would say for this particular area here right i'm going to go ahead and do it on the top of it i'd go slash slash for comment the script finds finds avatar senses the avatar within a certain distance within one meter and then over here after sensing slash slash after sensing does blah 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 you're gonna have to comment these so I know what you're doing 
Alright, so that's the basics of the scripting and I can't wait to see what you do.